Hi everyone, my name is Adarsh Mishra and you are watching Youth Nation Coders. So today we are going to solve our second question on CodeChef playlist and we will see that our second question is enormous input test. So this question has a tag like INTEST so you can search it from here also search problem by tags so there is no need to go through the whole list to search this problem and I hope that you have solved the first question ATM and if you haven't solved that then I will request you to watch my last video then you can continue with this video also and you also have to continuously solve these questions on CodeChef and you have to build your profile and you have to practice these questions also okay so our today's question is enormous input test okay so let's read this question that the purpose of this problem is to verify whether the method you are using to read input data is sufficiently fast to handle problems branded with enormous input output warning so this is nothing related to our question you are expected to be able to process at least 2.5 mb of data blah 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 so what we are getting as an input the input begins with two positive integer n and k okay so we are getting two inputs like n and k the next n lines of input contain one positive integer t okay so understood and what we have to print output write a single integer to output denoting how many integers are divisible by k okay so this is an easy question like here we have n and k the value of n is 7 and the value of k is 3 so we will get 7 queries like we will get n queries 151 and this numbers like they are total 7 numbers we have to check whether how many numbers are there which are divisible by 3 okay so like here we can see 1 so this is not divisible by 3 then we have 51 this is divisible by 3 then we will uh, increment the value of count as 1 then 966369 okay so this is also divisible by 3 so uh, the value of count will be 2 7 so it is not divisible by 3 9 it is divisible by 3 then the value of count will be 3 and triple nine double nine six. this is also divisible by 3 the value of count will be 4 so our answer is also 4 so logically this is a very easy problem where we are getting only two input like n and k so first of all let's take two input in our python ideally as n and k so here we are we have to go to file and then new file i hope that you are solving it in your own editor and comma k is equal to like both are integer values so we we can write that uh, with a single line uh, input and how can we do that first of all see here we are getting 7 and 3 and there is one space between them means we can receive this input as a string so let's receive this input sorry here let's receive this input as a string like input okay then we can see that there is a space between these two variables between these two integers so we have to divide these two integers like we have to break these two integers by that space so the both integers will be free and we can store this one to n and then we will store this one to k so we have to break that so for breaking what we used to do dot split and dot split will take a default argument as a space and if our uh, variables are divided by different thing like here we have this dash symbol and if our input is separated by this dash symbol then we will write split our string by dash okay so then we will get two values here what we have we have n and k we have got two values so by this we will get a list of a string so we have to take out element from this list and we have to make them integer by using map function so what we will write here if we have to map what we have to map we have to map this whole list and how how we are trying to map we will take every variable every integer in this list and then we will convert that into integer and then we will store it in n then the second element of this list will be converted into integer and then it will be stored in k so this is our input so now we have seven number means we have n number of queries okay so for that uh, we will take input for i in range i will run a loop from 0 up to n n times like there we have 7 times so here also 
we will write 7 times with the value of n is 7 we have to take one input at a time so we will take int input okay so we have got input and we have stored that into num then what we have to do we have to check whether this integer this value is divisible by our k value okay so we have to check if the value of num is divisible by k so it is completely divisible by k or not so num mod k is equal to equal to 0 num percentile k so i used to call this symbol as mod i don't know why num mod k is equal to equal to 0 so if that is the case then it means the k is easily going to divide this num value okay so what we have to do we have to count like how many values are there which are divisible by k so we are using this count as a variable then we have to also initialize this to so count value is 0 so this loop will continue to run for n times and every time it will take input as num and then we will check whether if that particular number is divisible by k and if that is the condition then we will count the value one more time like uh, we are just counting the values so here first of all we will get 1 then 51 then these all values so let's check whether this code is running or not then I will explain to you that how to do a dry run so we have to save the wait while I have to print the value of count also so we will print the value of count like how many time that k was able to divide those numbers and uh, let's save this now what was the title enormous input test okay so we will print these values like 7 and 3 so 7 will be stored in n and 3 will be stored in k so let's see whether the answer is coming 4 or not so answer is 4 okay so it is correct so actually what is happening right now let's see this okay so just minimize here okay n and k so 7 and 3 will move to n and k the value of count is 0 so for the first time 1 is coming as an input in num so value of num is 1 1 divisible by 3 so this is not possible okay so it will take another input 51 51 divisible by 3 yes so for the value of count will be 1 then it will take 966369 this is also divisible by 3 the divisible by k so the k value of count will be 2 then the 7 will come so 7 is not divisible by 3 so nothing happens then 9 it is divisible by 3 so the value of count will be 3 and here triple nine double nine six okay so this is also divisible by 3 will are divisible by k then we will get a count value of 4 then we have got 11 so it is not divisible by 3 so the value of count during all these operation was 4 maximum value is 4 so we are going to print that value of count so that's how we will get our answer as 4 okay let's see that there are some other test cases or not like there are not so this is how we will complete this enormous input test problem so i will provide the source code in description box also so there is no problem and uh, i hope that you understood this problem as well as its efficient solution click on these videos right here and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go thanks for watching and i'll see you next time